yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has-beens. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true so to speak. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit, so that you may see for yourself. Challenge Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great rune. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course, an inheritor of a great rune. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What? was your impression. Aha! Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. 
That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Oh, Lampkin, so pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and, of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this for your final trial. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Heavens, clench your teeth or something. <laughs> Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Ah, it is trying, but we must be patient. One day you will be elevated, deservedly, basking in love. Right, my lambkin? <laughs>
seek violence. Heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty. Pain to the very depths of my being. I'll ensure you regret this, my lambkin. Enjoy your miserable death. Grant the strength you promised. I have given everything. Please, my lord. Please answer me, Luminary Moog. <laughs> Bless the Mogwin dynasty with love. Mikola. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. 